Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go over the solution to a recent quiz you had requiring use of some text functions in Excel. You're provided with some mock data, and you've got some very descriptive street addresses, and you've got some city-state combinations. And let's see, I'm challenging you to give me only the street, minus the house numbers, and then the cities, minus the commas and the states, okay? So let's see, in the directions for this one, use a function to display only the street of the address. For example, Pine Street, Elm Street, Oak Street, etc. Make sure the house numbers have varying lengths, like my example. So in this one, I challenged you, you had to create your own mock data. It would have been too easy of a problem if all of your house numbers were like three digits or all four digits or all two digits, because then you could have just used a... Um, uh, a mid function starting at a very known point but now we have an unknown point so let's tackle this let me zoom in a bit more here so my goal is simply just to get the uh, houses I'm sorry just to get the streets Pine Street Elm Street and not get the house numbers well I'm looking for that common piece of th uh, information that they all have and there's always a space in between the house number and the street so I'm gonna look for a space so just so you know, I could simply do uh, equals find. I'm going to find a space within the address. Let's see what that does for me. Good information here. So I now know that for this first address that I've got, the space is at position 4. Three digit number, there's position 4 for the space. Here we go. For my next street, the space is at position 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 for the number. Space is at 5. Fantastic information because that means if I can find the space and I can go one character after the space, that must mean it's the start of the address, the street. Easy enough to do. So now that I know the value and, the, and what the result of a find function is, the result of a find function is simply a numeric value. Let's uh, modify this a bit. Now I'm going to use a mid function. And the purpose of the mid function is to display characters in a text string starting from some middle point. The text string in question is the cell that contains the complete address. Comma. What's the starting position that I want? Well, the starting position is one character after the location of the space. So you remember that function I just used to find the space? Find a space within the street address. Now I know that finding the space in this first address is going to give me a 4, position 4, but my street name doesn't start until position 5, so I need to add 1 to that result, and that'll get me a 5. So finding the space in my first address gives me a 4, but if I add 1 to that, that'll give me a 5, which means I can start displaying there. Now my mid function has a third parameter, the number of characters that I want. And there's some simple ways and complex ways you could solve this one. I'm going to go for simple first. Simple is I just put a number down that I know is going to be bigger than any street address. So I'm putting down 15 characters. Hopefully I don't have any streets with more than 15 characters. Close that parentheses off, finish my function, press enter. There's Pine Street, autofill down. Excellent. So this actually gets the problem solved for the quiz. It would have been perfectly uh, solvable. Um, and that, by the way, putting that big 15 there, or 20, or 99, whatever you do, it's not going to hurt anything, okay? It doesn't really cause us any problems at all. Um, so that's a perfectly fine solution. The more complicated solution that I don't know if I'll demo here, but, um, but basically is, if I want to be really precise, I could take the length of the complete street address, and then I could subtract the location of where the space is. Okay, so let's check this out. What the hell? I guess I'm doing it anyway, right? So I'll just take this find of the space, pop that in there, and you'll notice I'm getting the same result, but it required obviously a lot more effort on my part because now I say, well, I've got varying lengths of, of information for those for the street names. Actually, they are pretty similar, but they are different. So now I'm taking the length of the whole thing, and I'm subtracting the location of the space. So, different way of going. I don't want to say one is better than the other, because both got me accurate results for what I needed. 
The other part of this problem was um, displaying the city only. And you know what? That might be easier, you know? I don't know, if you got the street only, then doing city only is not so bad. Except with city, city only, we can start from the left instead of the midpoint. So, start from the left. Text in question is the cell that contains the complete city state, comma, and then the left function is asking me to provide the number of characters. So the number of characters is going to be one before the location of the comma. The comma is what they all have in common. So let me find the comma real quick. Find the comma within the city-state combination. And then close that off. So my left function will start from the left of B2, and it'll stop once it finds the comma. Let's see what happens. There we go. So I have my cities only, but it included that comma. So I have to make, I have to go one before the comma. So I just go to my, one of my functions. So I know that my find function tells me where the comma is, but if I subtract one, I can go to the left of the comma. There we go. City only. Um, yeah, so that's, yeah, that works out pretty well. Have fun with this one.